Hey you guys, welcome back. If you guys are new, my name is Lauren and I'm a nurse that's here for all your science back skincare reviews. And today is super exciting because we'll be reviewing the whole Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield line. I have all the shades including the bronze, the glow, and I also have all four shades in the Flex line. The Flex is the brand new face shield that has medium coverage SPF of 50 protection. This was really exciting because this is a new release from Color Science and you guys were most excited about this. I asked over on my Instagram what SPF you guys would be interested in me reviewing. Hands down, Color Science was the number one pick. Everybody was like, oh my god, Lauren, you need to try this brand. Can't believe you haven't tried it before. And Color Science was kind enough to send me out the line in PR. So very excited to give this a go. So I'll share with you guys swatches, how these look on my skin, and also how these formulas compare. And we'll answer the question, is Color Science really worth the money? Because I have to be honest, I think that's why I avoided the brand for so long. I looked at these prices, I'm like, oh, is that really worth it but you guys will hear my final thoughts in the end so lots to get through so we'll just go ahead and get right into it so looking more into the brand I was excited to see that color science is all fragrance free they're all mineral sunscreen so you don't have to worry about if you're sensitive getting that chemical sunscreen that burn that sting that sensitivity that a lot of people can get from chemical screens and color science also has a ton of patented ingredients they have a lot of clinical trials that back their products and this whole face shield line is essentially the same as far as the SPF level goes so these are all at SPF of 50, they're PA 3 plus, which means that you get three out of the four pluses against UVA protection. So pretty strong UVA protection here, broad spectrum. And we have full zinc oxide protection here. We have 12% zinc. So you know you're getting full protection against those UVA one and two rays. There's also iron oxides throughout the whole line. And we know with iron oxides, we're getting protection against blue light. Now the evidence is a little sketchy of whether or not we're getting true exposure from computer screens. TV screens but we know we're getting definite exposure from the Sun and blue light is a big contributor to melasma and brown spots dark spots so I like to see that in my products I melasma is a big issue with my skin as far as aging goes I'm getting a lot of pigment in my skin now so that's always a plus for me to see there's also a ton of nice moisturizers in here and as far as other ingredients go we have niacinamide a known skin brightener there's also mushroom extract Big fan of mushroom extract. Mushroom extract can act as a humectant. Great for moisturizing and soothing the skin. Also, allantoin is another skin soother that's in these screens as well. So, great ingredients in here. Like I said, I love that they're fragrance free. Gentle formula with the mineral SPF. So, yeah, I was really excited to give these a go. So, let's first start with the basic, I shouldn't say basic. These are not basic sunscreens over here, but but we'll start off the one that's probably the most popular and the face shield that was first released. This is a universal tint. It comes out in almost like a pinky tint. Again, same ingredients in here, and we have, I didn't even say, the volume is 1.8 fluid ounces. You're getting 55 mLs in here, and these are all $39 across the board. But the universal tint, everybody loves. I think, first of all, for the formula, I was really impressed when I applied this. It is very lightweight, and it has this almost like runny milky texture to it it blends into the skin so easily I love the dispenser too it's really easy to apply I have very dry skin and I can get away without using a moisturizer underneath of this it doesn't feel super heavy it's just heavy enough to where you feel like there's a moisturizer on your face but you don't feel like you're wearing a mask like sunscreen it's really pleasant to wear now as far as the tint goes, I think this is a little too cool tone for my skin. I'm a little bit more on the warm tone side. You can see the comparison from my face to my neck in the demo. You can see a cool and warm tone contrast. So I feel like I have to really work this into my skin. But once I do, I love that final result. It's so dewy on the skin and you get this nice blurring effect too. Like it blurs out all my melasma. You can definitely still see my melasma, but it gives this sheer, just a nice hydrated look to the skin, this pretty dew. So I really love how this looks on the skin. It layers really nicely throughout the day when you reapply it. It's just a really great sunscreen. Like I said, just the tone was maybe a little off for me but I really enjoyed how this applied to the skin and I love that moisture factor and I love the dewiness. All right and then let's talk about the bronze shade. I was very excited to try this because I use the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Drops and while I like those I have to be careful because you don't want to mix a cream bronzer or a lotion like bronzer in with your SPF because it's going to dilute down your SPF. So I'm always hesitant to apply those. I have to wait till my SPF sets and then I apply it to my, the tops of my cheekbones. But to have an alternative 
live where I can get some SPF coverage. I'm like, hmm, this could replace my drunk elephant. Now they nailed the shade with this. It's not too cool toned, not too warm toned. It has that pretty bronzy glow. There's a t there's no visible shimmer, but it definitely has a dewy glow to it. Now you'll see me apply this on my face and I have to say there is no way <laughs> that I would be comfortable just applying this haphazardly all over my face if I was on the beach. I have to have a mirror. I have to work it into my skin. I have to blend it into my skin. It's way too dark to use it all over my face. But I love how this looks as a topper over foundation, over other SPFs, and I did try it with the glow shade, and it looks so pretty just as almost like a highlight. I applied it on the tops of my cheekbones and on the tops of my forehead, and it gives this really pretty natural sun-kissed glow. But obviously there's no way I can get a full SPF of 50 protection if I'm just applying it to those areas, if I'm wearing this on its own. Hello. Gwyneth Paltrow is the first thought that comes to my mind right here but yeah I think I'll be using this as just really a topper to give that like sun kiss glow I love how that looks so I had to think okay is it worth me recommending a $39 product for those with fair to medium skin tones if you're just using it as a bronzy glow maybe not it's a little pricey but I do like the fact that I'm able to replace my say other bronzers that don't have SPF coverage in them but if you're medium to deep I feel like this would be a gorgeous shade it has such a pretty do to it and the color is a nice sun-kissed look so I do feel like this would go across skin tones medium to dark if you're applying it all over but for my skin tone it's a little much to apply it all over my face and neck but yeah maybe for me a little too much money to apply it just as I would a bronzer so this is great I love the SPF coverage I'm getting from it I love the shade but I would definitely recommend it if you your medium to dark. All right, now getting into the glow. I was pleasantly surprised by this. I was first a little turned off because it looked very shimmery in the swatch. It looks almost goldeny. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna look like the Tin Man when I apply this to my face. But this gives the prettiest sheen to the skin and it's not too much. It's almost a little bit more understated than the Glow Screen by Supergoop. This one, you're getting the blurring action. It blurs out my dark spots, but it also gives that pretty dewy sheen, which I love. And it's not, it's just subtle enough. I do find that I do need a little bit of powder, maybe to cover up my T-zone, those shinier areas, but it looks so pretty. I love this. I love how this looks. So I would definitely recommend this. Unfortunately, this is out of stock on Derm Store last time I checked, but I'll include the current link down below if I can find it somewhere else. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, it'll be restocked. But I love how this looked and I do really love the final result with the bronze over top. But if you're going to pick between the two, I would say the glow is where it's at. I don't know, I do love this as a bronzer. But again, $39 for a bronzer, it's, it's a little much. But this glow is so pretty and I love that blurring action. You can see in my demo too that I had some redness around my nose and it literally, it takes down the redness too. So I love this. I just love how this looks on the skin. Love that you're getting a full SPF of 50 protection from this. And I like that it blended in easily and you don't get any sparkly shimmer from it. It's just this nice, I shouldn't say subtle do. There's definitely a sheen to it. So you have to like that high highlighted look but I think it looks so pretty especially outside in the sun you just look like a glowing goddess it's a really nice product so yeah I would recommend the glow for sure all right so now let's get into the flex line and this is a brand new line from color science it has medium coverage so the fact that this has medium coverage and you're getting an SPF of 50 this really intrigued me because I felt like this is something very unique. There's lots of tinted sunscreens out there where you can get a higher SPF protection, but not medium coverage. Sure, there's foundations out there. Like, I love my It's CC Cream. You guys know that. But there's no way I'm applying enough to get that full SPF of 50 protection. But with the Flex Facial Line, you can apply it all over you can go to town and it never looks cakey or heavy or streaky it doesn't feel heavy you'll actually see in my demo as I'm applying it it ends up in my hair it's all over the place and I'm able to blend it in and I get this nice seamless effect I was so impressed with the coverage that this gave I'm actually wearing it today never did I think I'd be able to use an SPF as makeup it just gives such pretty medium coverage you can build it up it comes in four shades. We have fair, medium, tan, and deep. Now I have to say, I feel like I could go in between the fair and the medium. I am wearing the medium today. It almost 
the color adapts to your skin and I felt like once the fair and medium once they kind of dry down they did look very similar on my skin but I do like the medium a little bit better I feel like it's a little bit more of a match for me and the tan to deep the deep doesn't look too dark they do say that it's adaptable so it's hard to say on my skin tone um, how it's gonna look obviously on somebody of a deeper skin tone but I love how seamless this looks on the skin i love that when you blend it in you're not getting any streakiness that was what most impressed me i didn't use a brush i didn't use a sponge i can just apply this with my fingertips and it goes on so easily it applies white and then these pigment beads inside of a lotion just kind of distribute the color so evenly on the skin and it evens out your skin tone you're going to get medium coverage with this I love this stuff. I love it. I will be using this. I have been using this on a daily basis since I've received this. This is really exciting. A really exciting product. I am very impressed. This I would highly recommend. Is it going to replace my It's CC Cream foundation? Probably not if I'm looking for a high coverage foundation. But if I'm, you know, outside on a day where it's really sunny and I want some high coverage, I'm just going to go for the fleck. This offers really nice coverage. I love that it gives a nice pretty glow to the skin as well. This says that it's demi matte. I do not think it's demi matte. It's definitely more on the dewy side. Um, as a matter of fact, I went to the doctor's. I, uh, by the way, I'll talk about my newborn soon. I did have a baby. I didn't want to say this in the beginning because I know a lot of people are coming to this video probably just interested in color science and don't care about my personal life. But I know I'm sure there's some dedicated subscribers here as well. So hi guys. Um, but I did have to go to the doctors this week for mastitis and oh, oh my gosh, can I tell you? The pain of mastitis is unbearable. <laughs> um, but anyway, long story short, I went to the doctor's and I was wearing the Flex. And she takes one look at me and she's like, oh my gosh, you are really diaphoretic looking. <laughs> and which diaphoretic sweatiness, that's a big marker of mastitis, is a fever. If you have a fever, obviously sometimes you can get sweaty. Um, but I'm like, no, I'm just wearing, it's, it's my skincare. I have a really glowy product on. So I think I just, it comes off as an intense glow. Now this will transfer. I'll insert a picture of the mask I was wearing throughout my 12 hour shift. At the end of the day, you can see there's dark pigment pretty much all over the mask. So this will rub off. It does transfer. It was pretty much all worn off around my nose, but I still had coverage around uh, the sides of my face. But if I were outside, I'd be reapplying this throughout the day anyway. It does layer really nicely. If you're applying it throughout the day is another big point too, another plus to this, but definitely not transfer proof. So just keep that in mind. Um, but this is a great product. I love this. Again, I can't recommend this enough. This is such a beautiful product. I love how hydrating it is. It's so dewy. Love the coverage. Perfect medium coverage. Not too heavy. It doesn't feel cakey. It's just beautiful. Love this. So let me know if you guys are interested in picking up the Flex. Let me know other favorite color science products that you guys have. I'd love to try other products from them because man, I am even more pumped about this brand now. I've recommended the Sunforgettable brush on sunscreen in the past. This is great. And it does, by the way, pair well with all the face shields. It just is enough to take down that shine, that dewiness. And it almost, I'll demonstrate this. It almost gives some coverage as well. It doesn't ever look cakey, especially on my dry skin, which I always look for in, um, in any kind of powder really. But yeah, I'm a big fan of color science now. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for recommending this brand. Thank you to color science for sending out all these products. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I will have a sunscreen roundup still coming up. I know I te teased that a few videos in the past. I have a ton of sunscreens that I've been testing out. So look for that in the future, probably next week. So thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.